Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I'm Liz Quinn, your star Scentsy consultant. So today what I have for you is my weekly what I have been warming, but Scentsy launched these festive Friday sales, and last week I apologize that I didn't get specific news out to you. My week was just too crazy to sit down and do another video, and they gave us details very late. But we have two weeks left of this same kind of an idea. This coming Friday, there's going to be a starts at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 o'clock Eastern Standard, specific mystery bundles that are different than the first one last week or the next one, which will be on the 17th. So this one will be the 10th, and that's going to feature a mystery bundle for $20 of body care with sugar scrub, hand cream, hand soap, and body cream. Then there will be a 10 room spray bundle, also for $20, and a Scentsy Pod Mystery Bundle, 10 Pod Twin Packs, 440. So that's really good. And then on the 17th, and if I'm going to order anything, I might do something on the 17th. There will be another chance to do the 10 Bar Mystery Bundle for $40. And that, of course, is what I'm most interested in. And then if you're a gambling person, there's a warmer mystery bundle where there will be two full-size warmers, and that will be $40. And you just never know what you're going to get. I've seen things as crazy as a football, the beautiful Daisy Lantern warmer was in somebody's mystery bundle when they did these back a few months ago. So you just never know. And then there's also this and more and more on some of these weeks too. So check out those festive Friday sales this Friday and the Friday after, depending on how long the stock lasts, they run through the Tuesdays of each week. So now let's get into what I have been warming for the week. And I have been having so much fun, you guys. So much fun. As you can see behind me, it's still fall in part of my house. If you follow me on Instagram, I have done my back room and my dining room toward the holidays kind of a feel. I did a really woodland theme in the very back room, and eventually I will do some actual clips that I'll put together and we'll have some sort of a home tour. Plus there will be little reels on Instagram every time I put something up. So the last thing that I will do will be after Thanksgiving. So look for hopefully that weekend, the biggest tree in my house out here. And then this is all still Thanksgiving themed with the pilgrims and the turkeys and the pumpkins and all that. That will turn to beautiful Christmas eventually after Thanksgiving. And the fried turkey, the first fried turkey, I don't know if I told you guys about that. And then being super chatty today, I guess it's just because I'm smushing everything into one video. I think this week I'm only going to film once. Um, anyway, my husband's fried turkey that was a trial, that was really good. So we'll have another one for the actual dinner. And my mom's going to do one traditionally roasted in the oven too. So what was I warming this week? Frosted white pine, which is current in our sense of the season collection. This is really nice if you like a light, fresh pine. It's not super pungent like iced pine, which is now retired. This is a little bit more airy and I really enjoyed it. It is so important to melt things within a season, especially when it gets cold, certain things will smell much better or much less appealing than when it's really hot or in between. So the first time that I threw a couple cubes of this in, which was a few weeks ago, I liked it, but I wasn't sure if I was really in the mood. This time it was cold enough, I was totally in the mood and it's very, very good. So as I said, current sense of the season, I ordered a few. I got one big club shipment coming this month. I really loaded up my bi-monthly club with a bunch of extras like this because November is so busy for me with all the decorating, the shopping. I've got a nephew who has a birthday party. There are just so many personal things going on that I try to simplify other things such as the Scentsy channel a little bit, although you will still certainly see me. There just won't be quite as much as I'd say October or I'm not sure how December is going to roll either. But I will at least be here for my weekly what I've been warming and then maybe like the bi-monthly haul and maybe one or two other things that pop up. And then if you guys have any requests, do you have any requests of special videos that are holiday themed that have to do with Scentsy or even something with decorating that you would like to see between now and Christmas that would be helpful for me to figure out what else I can put on the channel that uh, I can really schedule and prioritize so that they don't conflict. The filming doesn't conflict with other things that I have to do. So. Let me know about that. Next, we've got Frosted Cedar. Now, I told you guys that this would be a bar where I wasn't sure I was gonna like it at all, but if it was cold, I might. I like it much better when the weather is cold. I really enjoyed this in my back room. After I got that first tree up in the back, which is themed with mushrooms and little birds and moss balls and all this whizzy stuff, I put in Frosted Cedar. 
into my lantern warmer from last December, and the name of it is escaping me, but you could get that in the flash sale on Friday, and it may even still be in clearance. That beautiful white warmer with the cabin scene on the sides, I put this in there. Fantastic, wonderful experience. I put more in that bi-monthly club shipment so that I'm simplifying all the things coming and going this month uh, for Scentsy. Then I also did some Christmas cactus in another room, and this is glorious, you guys. This was in our Ho clearance section this summer, and I only got four bars. This is super strong and sweet with the fur and the agave, and it's very, like, it's got a cactus note. Very cheerful. And that and the frosted cedar seems like maybe they wouldn't play well together, but they did, and it was great. So next, I've got a pile of more bakery-type things that I did one day. I broke out some other stuff from that same clearance, and that is candied cranberry pecan. This is so good, you guys. I'm so glad that, again, I have four, so I can use a couple this year, a couple next year. Mm. This is a really spicy, decadent cranberry with the pecans and the brandied plum bit. It's so good. Then maple rum cake, which has got to be one of my favorite winter bakery scents. This is in my bi-monthly. This is deep and dark spice cake with that rum and some butter. Oh, so good. And that was really nice with the candied cranberry pecan. And I threw in just a cube or two of make me snickerdoodle in a warmer because I ran out of the um, maple rum cake and I was too lazy to go to the basement and dig out more. But this went really well with that. So if you have maple rum cake and you want to use make me snickerdoodle with something, these two both had a similar note that made a really nice yummy bakery pairing in the house. And then you stick that candied cranberry pecan in the middle. Really, really yummy. Another day I wanted to go more fresh and kind of woodsy. So I did some white pumpkin and driftwood. And I had told you guys, I love this scent, but I was concerned about its strength after it's been sitting. And it is a concern. This is a fabulous smell, but it is so strong. Like one cube, my house is small and I do not have high ceilings. One cube in any of my zones is a powerhouse to the point of it almost sometimes being unpleasant. But it's not because I don't like the smell, but it's peppery almost with the cardamom and the driftwood and the pumpkin. So I just have to be careful how I use this. I'm not going to club it. I've been going through my stash trying to count some of these limited time offers as far as how much I've got. I have enough of this for a couple of years now and I think I'll be good, but it's really nice. Then I used one of my few clams of icicles and evergreen, same day as the white pumpkin and driftwood. They were really nice as a pairing. This is smoky and sweet with the evergreen. It's got eucalyptus, it's got ice crystals. It has sort of like a, an apple-y quality to it. This is now discontinued, but if you've got a brick of it from last year or you've got a few bars, that is really good with the other one I just mentioned. And I'm using up the last of my brick of Winter's Eve, which was one that was last year. Really, really nice scent. Very solid, very elegant. Slightly cologne but not overly so. And I didn't keep it in my club, but I'm happy that I have some to you. I did a whole bunch of other things that were definitely a cross between the Christmassy season and the fall. So I got out Hollyberry Cinnamon, which again was from that same clearance area drop of really good old retired bars as the Candy Cranberry Pecan and the Christmas Cactus. Hollyberry Cinnamon to me is almost like a smoky suede cinnamon that is very late fall appropriate and it's just a really nice mellow medium level smell. So I enjoyed an entire clam of this in the house and it was really good and I paired that with another thing that I have limited quantities of which is Harvest Blessings. Harvest Blessings has a little bit more of a fall fruit and oak smell but it also has that nice kind of musky suede quality. And they were really good together and I really enjoyed that day and it was very very good November meltiness. Another day I was digging through my clams looking for some almond croissant and I found just two cubes of this. So again, not wanting to go digging in my downstairs stash, I threw two cubes of this into my snow cute snowman warmer that's in the dining room. And I'm really liking that one by the way guys. It's bright but it doesn't hurt your eyes because of the wonderful frosted glass on the snow cute snowman. So the almond croissant was very good. <laughs> and that one is always a boomer, but I paired it with some caramel buttercream in a few different warmers, I believe. And this was just so nice, but it's a low level scent and it went for a couple of days in my mini warmers. That was from Sensepirations last year. I did not club it. It didn't come back in the catalog. The only one that did was the candy cane buttercream, which is really nice, but I won't use that one until December. 
But that was good. And then Stroop Waffle Delight, you guys, all over the house. This is a boomer. It's in my bi-monthly club. And this is the perfect November, a little bit of cinnamon, lots of butter, just decadent bakery scent. Like a really nice pumpkin pecan waffle. <coughs> there isn't any actual pumpkin in here, but it just has this wonderful richness. One of the stronger, more long-lasting bakery scents we've ever had from Scentsy. And this one's never coming out of my club. It was fabulous. So another day I was using up some cranberry pumpkin spice, primarily in my Harvest Bounty Warmer, which I know is sold out of the Harvest Collection, but it's just such a great one. If they reissue that one next year, you guys, that's the white, almost basket weave pumpkin. Sometimes they'll bring something back in the next collection of the same, like Harvest or Holiday. And that is one I would recommend for sure. It's a good performer for being an element warmer and it's just so good looking and so nice. So I dumped, I think, four cubes of the beautiful cranberry pumpkin spice in there, and it went for two days, and it was fantastic. So that was Old Harvest Trio. So that's got cranberry. It's got a little bit of kind of a sugar and spice and pumpkin. It's beautiful. I was also using some frosted cinnamon roll, and this is so good. This is September scent of the month. I believe that this will be retiring at the end of November. Don't quote me, but I think with the pattern of how we are retiring scent of the months. You need to club this or get a stack if you like a versatile bakery scent at all. This is a great bar, you guys. It's just sweet and smooth. It's similar to pumpkin cinnamon swirl, but a little bit more all year round because it doesn't have that heavy pumpkin. So good, you guys. And then the queen of the bars that were bricks last year, caramel chestnut. I had this going all over the house too one day. So good. So the Stroop Waffle Delight that I just talked about, that's more bakery. This is more gourmand, roasty toasty, but the caramel gives it a bakery edge and it's just phenomenal. It's a perfect November, December smell. Then next, these are things that I'm actually doing today. I had three cubes left of good old clove and cinnamon in this clam. This is a scent I love when the weather gets crispy like it is today outside. It's warm. It lasts for several days in your warmer. It's uncomplicated and honest, cuddly, cozy goodness. It's just so nice. <clears throat> and I did one of my few clams of Bright Cider Life. This is really good paired with cinnamon and apples. This is, of course, pretty much more of an October or September scent, but I don't know, I was just feeling it today, and it's really, really good with the clove and cinnamon. Excuse me. And I just am enjoying the mellowness of this. I would love to see this come back in the future and bring back my bar, or maybe they would bring it back in the catalog someday. That would be amazing. And then the other thing that I'm doing this morning in this area in the front room is cashmere leaves, which is from our five bar harvest trio this year. I liked this, that I liked it a lot, and now I'm clubbing this in my bi-monthly for sure, and I love it. This bar has gone up so much in my estimation, like the white pumpkin and driftwood, I knew I loved the smell, and when it was a fresh pour, it was great, performance was excellent in the house. Now, as I've already told you, it's a little strong, this cashmere leaves, it went from not quite strong enough to perfect. And it's just absolutely lovely. So this is apple, cinnamon sugar, and some leaves and sort of a fall depth. You could melt this all the way through into the winter though. It is just lovely. It's very unique. And I would be sad not to have this in my arsenal for next fall winter. And this is going in my club. And I really love Forever Fall too. That one is also in this five bar bundle. So we have the Dutch apple bread, which I do not like. We have, I really should try that one more time though before it goes away. <coughs> Excuse me. We have the Fall into Love, which I've gotten several love and that's more of a outdoor, or do, outdoorsy fresh scent. We have the Forever Fall, which is really, really bakery, heavy brown sugar pumpkin. We've got the cashmere leaves, and I think I forgot one, but they are just a very interesting five pack of bars, and two of them I think I'm gonna be clubbing, which will be the cashmere leaves and the Forever Fall. Really, really nice bars. So it takes some time with those to kind of test them out and figure out which one's your front runner, which then may change, which it definitely did for me this year, and which ones in the long run do you really want to have forever, forever. And that's why we have club. So now what am I doing in the basement and the bedrooms for the week? In the basement, and I will not be showing any of this until around Thanksgiving, but I've got the basement completely redone for Christmas. So I've been melting some fun stuff down there. Cranberry garland. Oh, I had to have a little bit of this. It was just so good. 
I've only got three clams left, so I'm kind of being sparing with my warming, but I took two cubes of this, which is sage, cranberries, and pine cones. And it was lovely downstairs, perfect for Thanksgiving. It's just so nice. Another one where I did the whole bar is white out. And this is a bar I've been waiting to binge warm because until we had it for bring back my bar, I had very limited quantity. This is the most beautiful peppermint with just a little bit of pine and apple. I put it in in the evening where I was pretty much done decorating down there. I went to bed the next morning, the whole house, because everything rises up from the basement through the vents, smelled delicately like peppermint and it was just scrumptious. So beautiful. So this is really nice. It's a scent that builds. It won't hit you over the head in the beginning. And since I am sensitive to peppermint, that one is perfect for me. Another one that I was doing just a couple cubes of was Polar Bear Hug, and this is so nice. And this is the first time I've talked about this this year. This is a Scentsy Classic. This is such an unusual smell. It is light and sweet. It has, I haven't looked up the notes of this in forever. I believe this is the one with the caramelized brown sugar, the blackberry jam, and then it's got these other almost like sweet body care notes. It's gorgeous, you guys. You have to try that if you never have. And then there is the classic minty Christmas bar for Scentsy, which is Silver Bells. This is just as much of a classic as Christmas Cottage. It's just in a different direction because this one's got caramelized pear, peppermint, musk, vanilla, sugar. It's beautiful and it's good and strong. It's floaty, but it's still good and strong. It's really, really nice. So I loaded that up. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. I'm so sorry. There's something not quite right in the throat, I guess. I loaded up my warmers with that in the basement and it was just like, it was almost too strong because that area is sort of semi-enclosed and you only have the airflow up the stairway, but it was really good at the same time. And then the very last thing that I was doing in there today is pumpkin roll. And I can say certain scents just smell better in certain areas. I like pumpkin roll in the basement, but I prefer it upstairs. Whereas you, if you watch my channel, you know the vanilla cinnamon maple, I prefer that usually in the basement. So go figure, I don't know. but. This is that rich, decadent cream cheese, yellow cake with pecans, perfect pumpkin bakery scent. It's so good. So all the spices and everything, it was definitely nice down there, but I think maybe the cream cheese note is better upstairs. It just certain temperatures of the air, certain smells that you're also dealing with in a basement environment. I liked it, but I love it upstairs where it gets a little bit more clean sort of uh, ability to smell everything that's in this. Really, really good. And then last but not least, what was I doing in bedrooms? So I did some rustic lodge. This was again, maybe not the right thing to do in that particular space. This was super strong in my bedroom. And although you guys know I love it, I think this needs to go back to the basement or my front room because it almost smelled too much like a, a cleaner, almost like a little bit of pine cleaner with smokiness. It's supposed to be, and you know I love this, <clears throat> a really rich, rustic, outdoorsy smell that's got oak moss and cabin and woodiness and pine, which it does. So I'll be putting this back in the basement where it's pleasant. It was just too strong for the bedroom. Another thing that we were doing is a little bit of ghostly greetings right at the tail end after Halloween. My daughter wanted some in her bedroom. This is really interesting. This has plum, patchouli, just deep, dark, woody, and berry notes, and it's very good and spooky. She enjoyed that a lot. The next thing that I was doing was the last two cubes, and I'm actually doing this today, of Christmas cottage cider in my bedroom. Now this scent I've melted several times, just a couple cubes at a time. I still got one more set of all of these because as consultant, we can get early access and you guys can get them on the 13th. And I think you should if you like Christmas cottage at all. So this one, it's very nice. I've been hearing other people reviewing it and strength is where we think this one has a downfall. And for me, over time, I love the scent when you first put it in the warmer. It can get a little bit sharp toward the tail end. I'm thinking maybe mixing this with cider mill would be perfect. I'll have to do that at some point, but I'll probably get a couple more of this because I still really like it. it. It is not as strong as regular Christmas cottage, so I can handle it in my bedroom where it has that cider, that clove, and that just that Christmas cottage thing that that scent profile has without the heavy, sticky, sweet raspberry. So I thought it was really good. The next one is Red Currant Wreath. And this went in my bedroom for, I don't know, four days. I was just busy and I didn't have time to change my warmer. I knew I would like this smell and I do. And it's a long haul kind of a scent. 
The sandalwood base in this just goes and goes and goes. So it's got red berry, a little bit of evergreen and that sandalwood. It is very nice, medium level, and then goes at a medium low level for days. Very, very happy with that. And then another one, which is probably the bedroom zone rock star of the moment, Vanilla Barnwood. Oh, this is so good, you guys. This is going in my bi-monthly club. And it is perfumey, sweet, with all that vanilla and the amber. And people say lemon, and I get a little bit of that, but oh, I don't know. There's just something about this bar. You have got to try it. It's addictive. And it goes in your bedroom for a couple days. Beautiful, comfy, cozy, elegant, gorgeous. And then last but not least, I tried one brick cube of my Forever Flannel in the bedroom, and I'm still struggling a little bit to smell this. When I can smell it, I love it, but it's just so soft sometimes. I've had good and bad warms with this. I'm on my second brick my mom borrowed what was left of my other bricks to try them out at her house. This is gorgeous. It's got the lavender and what does it have in here? Bergamot and some other things, and it's, it's soft and gentle and very good fall-winter. It's just not quite as strong as any of us want it to be. So I was going to put this in my club. I will keep melting through these. I may club it. I was going to bump out Fuzzy Blanket. Oh, it's the sandalwood that's in here that always takes forever to cure. Fuzzy Blanket over the summer, I had this kind of strength issue with, and now it's fine. So you just have to be patient sometimes. So this was a very jumbled, rambly what I had been warming. This is Elizabeth Quinn with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. As I said earlier, if you guys have any cool ideas for videos between now and Christmas, please leave those in the comments and I'll see what I can get done between all the other crazy things that are going on. I still love warming my Scentsy and I will always be sharing it with you. It's just, there's a lot to do for the Mama Elf in November and December. Have a great day, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.